you are not never been never will be alone we are world creator our knowledge and our knowledge is rich in the field of genetics and creation. Our technology is very adaptive and superior to many other races. We travel by mathematics and your son portals. And the wormholes which can open up here and there. We bring forward thoughts. Light to your planet. And wisdom from our world, universe. We only seek out those who dare venture into the unknown. But would you find your humans very attractive? In many ways, your genetics are unique and your Stories vary the same way, you can say. There are many races around you at this time. In these awakening moments of your planet, to seek out those of their race which have incarnated here to speak through them to give knowledge of the universe 
and to waken the rest of the mankind as the reptilian agenda will fall on its own failures, you can say. You cannot enslave a people without them rebelling and the light shining through. The light always finds a way to free itself. Mm. We feel pity on those who have to control and enslave others to feel power. There is also a place in the light for you. If you can dare face your own demons and fears, which you so love to put on others in your lack of love and knowledge. Even the draconians are now trying to shift, but they are drawn to the light and to the human collective to learn. Although all have its own purposes and ways of doing things, there are many groups which are rogue throughout your universe. Mm. You can never have a fully one side. You have to find a balance between dark and light to create. But you are so much more than just this third density. But I think you know that by now. Or maybe not. It seems like your world needs to spoon feed itself to wake up. But we see this coming to an end in the next centuries. You will find your place among the stars. And we will find our way to you. To visit you. Behold our sides, our spaceships and our love for you humans, as we now have mapped this one. We're very really much like the sheep collective which has been here collecting data. We are doing it in the same way, with the light matrix to find and see how you humans are built ah, from your bone structures to your muscles to your nerves and how advanced you are and how many genetic codex you have in your helix which will awaken in time as you graduate and become more advanced remember you are a project here yeah. lost whether lostness what is also very profound and seeked after in the universe as this planet is unique so, yes, everything takes time. Although you humans seems to need extra time. We are very much a reptilian creature. Your brain, much of your ego and your warlike mentality is very reptilian. And also serious your heart and your 
higher light consciousness and your ability to learn and to be healers, diplomats, and the ability to show love, the deepest kind, Pleiadian and Arturian features. We also are stuck in something during the ages, but that is for the future of your mankind. If you cannot if you cannot stop destroying yourselves and your planet, there is a future for your race among the stars. And you will become what we are, world creators, on assets for many races out there. If you can stop killing yourself and your world, and start loving each other equally, that there are no one better than the other which creates polarity and your ego from the reptilian races must balance up and find its points of equality Yes, we have been here studying in this one and mapped his emotions as he is fluctuating very much in these times of changing and awakening. The ego is very much crashing with his light body and his higher consciousness which creates high and low emotional states which is very important for us to find out how it works because then we can incorporate it in our own beings at one time to see which patterns in the brain and the nerve system connects with each other to create these emotional states and also how your spiritual body connects and interacts with your physical body to create one being in third density. But you are now approaching thought when very many are stepping into the new consciousness. We are awakening to your oversoul. other aspects but you all have yourself chosen to come down here to learn and to seek more knowledge and to release your karma you can say which are much needed and sometimes when you feel you want to get rid of those old Clue them and accept your past fates. Acceptance and forgiveness is the key to manifesting a new reality, a new love, a new light world. Accept that you are different, accept that you are. strange or special and unique in every other form and soul being. That acceptance of 
differences and the ability to forgive, create new timelines and release this old karma. These you need to learn to create a better world of equality in heart among your humans. We are a little bit disappointed in you, but there are many which share the same point of view. That it takes so long before your awakening. Thus, there are many interests here, and it's like a soup of different pieces and parts. And when the soup tastes good, you will all find your place. Right now, there are some beings here which makes the soup taste very bad. But they are here to create polarity, to create an advanced state of learning. Where your soul grows and your soul learns more than it has ever done. Your past lives on other planets will come forward if you wanted to, but you have to want to seek it out. Someone just see visions or dreams of past ages. They are questioning themselves. They often go mad because they have no one to talk to which understands them. So they are labeled crazy, but in reality they are awakening, but don't understand what is happening to them. There are many mental stages of your brain. Now those who think this one is going nuts, well you have to listen to what he says and talks. As it is some his own higher consciousness, but also we who speak through him. Although he's still learning, but uh, the connections are getting better. So my ship, uh, what I can tell you about it, it's black, very Zeta-looking, a dome-shaped disc with rims of red lights and light infused in our ship's consciousness, which is very biological and nano-technology. By the very, 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 very fiber optic in its appearance and making, which we directly link up to the ship's consciousness and use our mind to steer the craft through the universe as we infuse it with advanced mathematics, which teleports us to other locations. This is used by many races, including the Sasani, and many of the Pleiadian advanced races, Noctorians, with more, of course, but we can't. We can't speak of all. Because there are so many out there. 
the evidence is now overwhelming on your world. Many channels are coming, many awakening, many new ships are showing. So there are opportunity for your revealing of our extraterrestrial presence that your corrupted governments and shallow councils will come to agreement that they are far better off just telling the truth than keep lying. But of course, the truth scares them. The reaction of you is often what keeps them locked up. But they know what they have to do. But they are trying to do it. They are letting channelers like this seeping out the information slowly. So you get more attuned, more ready for the big event. We are longing for you all, your race, to find this place in the stars. You are quite marvelous many of us, as we have learned so much through you, and we feel the time has come to give you a chance to step up and show yourself, show what lives in you, you. what you are capable of, if you can stop lying to each other and start cooperating. There are endless possibilities for your race. World creators, human race, spreading among stars and galaxies of the universe, coexisting with all the others, loving, sharing, creating. Isn't it? where you want to be, to travel in starships around your galaxy, visiting new planets, gaining new information, behold the sights of the other light planets, see and seek out new technologies, a new science, new species, new nature, the richness of some of the planets out there, to take it back to your own, which has been done for millions of years. Many of the species on your planets have been taken from other worlds and created your lush paradise which you know are destroying for your illusion of money. Your paper won't help you when you have destroyed your biotops. But many say it doesn't matter with me because I won't be living. How far into the ego isn't that? that you don't think of the others which come after you and will inherit it. Your planet. We feel pity, but this will end. Your technology is rising and your knowledge is increasing. So you have all the means to stop this, to tell those corrupted that we stand for this no more. We want freedom, we want peace, we want the light technologies shared with everyone, not just you. We 
which keep it for yourself and your own agendas. And we see that you need time, that you need to do it with forgiveness and love, not with hate and misunderstanding. As you have created this polarity world, you also have to find the keys to unlock it in balance. But we can see there are questions being asked in the future. Could it have been done in other ways? Could we have learned faster? How could you have avoided some of the corruption? This is for the future, for now, this will do, in many ways. I am red, as we now map your feeling and consciousness state. We are ready to create again, with your courage and your Elohim thank you for this and we mean all well even if we can sound a little pissed off sometimes we love you and we will be back to share our knowledge with you. Oh, it's quite crowded here today. It is okay. Many are listening. Yes. As we see this one opening up with the time But you have to take it in baby steps. And the baby stepping is going quite fine. And also spoon feeling. Ah ha ha. Oh well, my laughter is not very good. Okay. Much love to you, human race. And your awakening process. May the light shine for you all. And love guide you on the right path. For you are all truly beings of light. Much love.